Okay, next we're going to check out themes and layouts in Reaper. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, we can change the theme or how Reaper looks very easily. If we go to the options menu, go down to themes, here we could change the theme. In these tutorials, I've been using the default that comes with Reaper 5, but we could switch it to the default that came with 4, and it'll look like this, or we could use third party themes created by users, like this one here. Or Imperial, which was created by White Tie. Check out this mixer. Pretty cool. This is another good one right here. But let's go back to the default one. As I said, this is the one that comes with Reaper 5. Now, besides changing the themes, we can change the layouts, which are changes within each theme. So go to the Options menu. Down over here are our layouts. We can change them for Transport, for our Envelope, for the Master Mixer, for the Mixer, and for the Track Control Panel. And you can see there's a whole bunch. Now it's easy to change them using screen sets. So let's open that up. Go to View. Go down here to screen sets. So right from over here, it's a lot quicker to change our layouts. And we could also change our themes from here. Just choose it, go to 4.0, go to Imperial, or go back to the default. So let's go back to our layouts. Over here are the track control panel layouts, which is right here. We've been using large because it makes it easier to see with bigger controls. But we can change that. Let's go through some of these. This is the standard one right here, which looks like this. This is the standard one with readouts. So you can see the volume over here, the pan over here. There's a bunch of other ones that are also part of the standard, like this one with a really big fader. The throw is from here to here. There's a few other really cool ones. Like right down here, we have a full meter. See the meter? So if you're tracking and you want to see your levels, we can see them a lot clearer when they're this big. But let's switch it back to large. Now we also have layouts for our mixer. Let's open the mixer. We've been using this one called Session Mixer, but the default looks like this. And there's a bunch of other ones to choose from based on your specific needs. The sidebar one is a lot wider, so it's easier to see our effects over here or our sends over here along with the fader. Or smaller, they're a lot thinner, so we can see more tracks on a smaller screen. Small sidebar, full meter, which again makes it easier to see our meters or our level. So we can see the meters as we're recording or playing back. Large, large sidebar, the session mixer, which we've been using, which I kind of like the look of. It's very high def, there's a lot more detail. We could change the color of the fader to black, red, or blue. Change the strip. So again, we can see a lot more tracks in a small window and still see the meters. Very helpful while recording. Full controls, live recording, meter bridge, which is mostly meter, and finally, just the track name, very minimal. Let's put this back to Session Mixer. Now we could also change the height 
of what goes on in the mixer. If we go up here, we could bring this down, and we could see up here our effects, and down here we'll see our sends. But with it closed, we don't see that. But we can change it on a track by track basis. So this one can be down here, seeing a lot more of this. This one could be here. So each one can be different. And if you want to move them together, control on the PC or command on the Mac, and just grab it, and they all change together. So let's close the mixer and go back to the track control panel. Now we can also change the layouts of our tracks individually. Let's select our drums, go down here to select the track panel, and let's choose full meter. Now our drums look like this, while the guitars still look like this. So we can see different info on different tracks. Change this guitar to a big fader, so we can adjust it, change our kick to the standard, looks like this, and now each track has its own layout, so it's very customizable. And if we want to switch them back, just select them all, change this back to the default up here, they all change back to large. And we can do the same thing for our mixer. The drums can be changed right here to be large sidebar or strip or full controls. And the guitars can be changed to this one or this one or back to the session mixer. And again, we can put them all back by selecting them all, switching this back to the default and they all go back to the session mixer. Now a cool trick with this is to change the color of the fader. Let's make our drums using a blue fader and our guitars can have a red fader. This makes it a bit easier to see what's going on on each track. Just remember all your drums are blue, guitars are red, maybe your vocals are black, your bass could be gray. Just makes it easy to see what's going on. So those are the layouts. Now it's important to note that every theme has a different set of layouts. So whoever created that theme also created the layouts. So what works in this one probably isn't going to work in all themes. So just keep that in mind. So those are the themes and layouts in Reaper. And this is the end of this set of videos. As I mentioned in the intro, if you want to learn more about Reaper, because I couldn't possibly show you everything in this set of videos, go to the Reaper website right here, go to videos, and there's a lot more videos on this page. And they're being updated all the time. So bookmark this page and check back quite often. There's so much to learn in Reaper. So anyway, I thank you for joining me. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.